Hi, I'm Paul Bailey, Technical Manager of Rotovar. I'm here today to talk about wear and wear products. As you can appreciate, there's a lot of products which are extremely abrasive. It's how you actually deal with them, but it also depends on the application. If you've just got a gravity application, then you're really talking about mechanical abrasion, i.e. clearances between the rotor vein and the actual housing itself. On the other hand, where a positive conveying is concerned, whether it's lean phase or dense phase, lean phase will have a tendency to want to shot blast the internals of the valve. Dense phase, because of the nature of the actual dense phase itself, which is more of a slug of material going, the actual pressure is higher, but the velocity is lower. So you don't get the velocity of the product impinging against the surface. So of course, we can overcome that in many ways. It's all down to system details, what pressure you're actually blowing at, but we can put wear components into valves. We can put replaceable blades as a standard. You can then go on to coatings, whether it's tungsten carbide coating, which is normally primarily used for powders, or you can use hard chrome, which can be used for powders, but it has a tendency to use with particles that have got sharp edges. And then, of course, you go to the next extreme, you go to ceramics. Extremely hard, very wear-resistant material, but extremely expensive to actually produce in the first place. And of course, Rotoval here, we've actually developed our EHD and EBS range. They're basically a valve that has actually got complete internal replacement parts. So you don't destroy the housing, you just destroy the replaceable parts that can be involved. Blades as an example, collar as an example, all these are replaceable rather than destroying the rotor. Then of course we come on to the body bore. We have a replaceable liner that can actually be slid in and out and secured in a position. Replacement part made, slip back into position, secured in place, and of course we've got the end cover. The end cover itself, standard end cover, but we have a replaceable disc that can actually be unbolted, taken away, re-put back on, and you're back into an A1 condition. So basically that is why the valve was designed, so that all these internal components can actually be replaced so you don't have the expense of the end cover and the body. So hopefully I've explained basically where the wear occurs and where the actual abrasion nature of the product is. And of course, finally to end it all, wear is also down to leakage. The greater the leakage, the greater the wear. If you get a leakage path, the wear will actually be highly exaggerated because it'd be purely focused in that particular point of where the actual leakage air. We can show you many examples of a leakage path which has basically eroded away the actual end cover itself purely because there was a leakage path because of the air. There's a brief summary of abrasive products and wear and how we can actually overcome those issues with the type of valve that we've actually shown here with the internal components, with the shafts to prolong the valve life please do not hesitate to contact us for further assistance. Thank you.